Hey, this is Kevin at Real World Review. I have in front of me the Surface Pro 4. This is the i5 256 gig SSD, 8 gigs of RAM model. Um, throughout this review, I'm going to go more into the specific features of the Surface itself rather than some of the more generalized Windows 10 features. I also want to go into some of the issues that I've uh, encountered or just uh, found online and uh, hopefully give you guys a good, a good idea of what they are and uh, as well as a couple ideas on how to fix them. First off, just real fast, um, hardware-wise, uh, I don't want to spend too much time on this. I mean, I just recommend um, going into the store and checking it out. Um, it does have a full-size USB on the right side. Um, it does have the volume rocker and the power button on the top. Um, as far as screen and everything goes, I mean, I, it's very, very good in my opinion. I would definitely recommend uh, going in store and just checking it out for yourself. That way you can feel the hardware, um, see it in person. That's going to really help as far as that goes. Um, coming from a Surface Pro 3, uh, I can tell you that the heat issue is not as prevalent on this one. I mean, it still does get warm to the touch, but nowhere near the, uh, the heat issues that the Surface Pro 3 had. The pen is something that uh, is a huge pr uh, improvement over the Surface Pro 3 as well. Um, I really enjoy using it. Um, it works really, really well for note-taking. Um, it's way more natural to me to use the eraser. Um, instead of trying to fumble with the button. I always found that my fingers were never in the right spot to use the button. Um, it, it just was not a very natural experience and uh, this pen is much better. Another thing I really like about the Surface Pro 4 is the keyboard. Um, it's a big improvement over last uh, generation's model. Um, the, the touchpad is, feels really really nice and uh, I've enjoyed using it. The um, keyboard itself, I mean, I've type on it just as well as I do any other one that I've tried. I'm not too picky when it comes to keyboards, but I mean, for how thin it is and, um, you know, keeping the form factor, it does an amazing job. Um, the backlight, as you can see, uh, is something that, you know, I don't use all that often, but does come in handy every once in a while if I'm in a dark environment. Um, but uh, overall, the keyboard uh, gets an A plus for me. I really like it. Next feature I want to get into is Windows Hello. Uh, it's kind of a new login feature of Windows 10 and obviously the Surface. Um, it's proven to be very, very useful. I, I, I don't like having fingerprints on the screen, something that kind of really bugs me, which is why the pen has been so useful. Um, so, you know, inputting a password or pin or whatever to try to log in is just not, not ideal, especially when you're working with the screen or you're in a you know, standing position or um, somewhere where the keyboard is cumbersome to get to. It's also very, very quick to use, which I'll uh, demonstrate that in just a second. Um, to be totally honest with you, it, you know, through you know over a month of use, it's got basically 100% accuracy with me at this point. Um, I don't, I can't think of a time when it has failed to recognize me when I've been looking at the screen. I mean, there's been a couple times when I've been uh, doing other things and forgot that it needed my face to log in. But um, I'm assuming one of the things that makes it work so well is uh, you'll notice when the screen flips down and it attempts to log in, there's actually an IR light at the top of the screen. Um, so this thing can recognize you in basically pitch black. Um, there has to be no light at all, which is a huge feature um, for obvious reasons. Now I want to kind of get into some of the issues that I've uh, encountered with the, with the Surface Pro. I mean, first on the list definitely is the, the power issues. Um, people complaining about battery life especially. Um, the way I kind of got around that, I mean, hopefully you guys can kind of follow along on the, uh, on the screen. I'll also uh, post a link in the description of where you can find directions on how to do this. Um, but essentially, uh, you're, you have to go in manually and re-enable um, all the advanced power options. Um, there are some drawbacks to doing this. I noticed that the sleep state was way more finicky after doing this, but uh, as long as you enable you know whatever power plan you want and then re-enable the, the CS enabled ticker to one um, it it basically goes back to uh, you know how it was and uh, the sleep state is unaffected while maintaining all of the benefits of the your custom power program um, one could assume and hope that uh, Microsoft will come up with a fix for this another issue I ran into was the Maps app did not display roads um, when I first got it. Um, the solution to that that I found was installing the Intel graphics driver um, off of their website. 
So once you do that, you uh, roads will obviously be fixed. I have heard people say that they had issues with, um, you know, graphics uh, not only on the Maps app but uh, other situations as well. I have not noticed any of these, um, so I'm not going to say you won't have problems, but uh, I haven't had any. I'll also post a, uh, a link to the download page for that. Um, once downloaded, you're going to want to unzip it, and uh, there is a README in there that will give you step-by-step -step directions on how to install it. So just follow that, and you shouldn't have any problems. So that kind of hits all the bullet points for me. Um, feel free to comment and, you know, whatever if you have any other questions. But uh, yeah, Surface Pro 4 is a really, really solid device. I'm really, really enjoying using it. Um, I've been using it for all sorts of different things. Um, the form factor for me is just what they just nailed it. I mean, the Surface has always been a great in that respect, but... Uh, you know, there's a there's an example. I mean, it fits in the just the, the back pouch of my DSLR bag, and uh, you know, fits nice and snug, and you know, it leaves tons of extra room for everything else. Um, looking at videos and pictures, you know, we're out we were out snowmobiling the other day, and it just uh, it looked fantastic. Everybody's just huddled around it, you know, watching some videos that we taken that day, and uh, everything just looked great on it, and it performed, you know, beyond my expectations. That being said, I can't um, recommend it for everybody. Um, you have to have some technical know-how to be able to maneuver around and tweak the registry or settings or whatever to kind of get it to work, you know, absolutely perfectly. Um, but all in all, a very, very solid device. I do not regret my purchase one single bit. So without further ado, with the uh, help of Saving Great Animals, I'd like to introduce uh, Tiny. He is a foster dog that we have had uh, the pleasure of having around our house uh, for about two weeks now. Um, he's very, very well behaved. Um, kind of lazy, likes to just kind of lay around, crawl underneath the blanket and just chill. Uh, really keeps to himself, doesn't bug anybody. Um, and you'll see in a second, he, uh, he likes to eat his dinner in private. Um, he does not like uh, battling others for food because he'll just eat, let them have everything. If, uh, <laughs> you know, he's just a, a real uh, gentleman as far as that goes. So, um, if you're in the, the Seattle, Tacoma area, um, feel free to contact Saving Great Animals and uh, go ahead and arrange to meet Tiny. Um, we'll be sad to see him go.